Bahasa Inggris, English for Change Untuk SMA, MA kelas 11 tahun 2022 Unit 1 Digital Literacies and My Identities Listening Hello students, how are you doing? I hope you are all doing well. Welcome to English for Change audiobooks. This is the listening lesson of Unit 1. After learning this lesson, you are able to correctly categorize expressions which are stating opinions, agreeing, and disagreeing used in a spoken transactional conversation that you listen to. Let's get started. Have you been in a situation when you want to speak up your opinions? Or maybe your friends said something that you disagreed with? Then, this is the right time for you to learn how to state your opinions on something or stating agreement or disagreement on it. Before you learn, let's set the mood for this lesson and make yourself relaxed. Now, it's time to learn some expressions that you can use for stating your opinions, agreeing and disagreeing. Are you ready? Expressions for stating opinions, agreeing and disagreeing are used especially when we are engaged in a discussion. Here are some examples taken from the British Council. Learn English teens. Stating opinion. I think. I don't think. I believe. I don't believe. In my opinion. For me. Personally. I think. Agreeing. That's right. Absolutely. Exactly. I couldn't agree more. I see exactly what you mean. You're right. That's a good point. Disagreeing. I don't agree. I totally disagree. Absolutely not. That's not right. I'm not sure about that. If you find unfamiliar words or phrases, consult your dictionary. Okay, now let's continue to the next activity. First, listen carefully to this upcoming audio. I don't think most of us see how social media can help shape our future. What do you mean? Well, Kiko, if you take a closer look at our classmates' posts on their social media... I see where you're heading, Gendis. I'm with you. I think they use their social media mainly for showing off, which is not healthy for themselves and others. I'm not sure about that. Why? Because I also see them follow leading figures in their fields. You both must know Dinda from the other class. She's a model. I see her follow Kaya Gerber's Instagram. Maybe Dinda aims to be a world-class model, just like Kaya? Interesting. Maybe we can investigate that and report it for a social science project? Sounds great, Nuri. Sure. Why not? Listen again. Then identify the expressions for stating opinions, agreeing, and disagreeing used by the speakers in their conversation. For example, to state opinions, you can say, I am convinced that. To express agreeing, you can say, That's how I see it too. To express disagreeing, you can say, Your idea is worth considering, but... Now, it's your turn to identify the expressions. Have you finished identifying? Now, answer this question. Are there any other expressions for stating opinions, agreeing, and disagreeing that you know? Write them down in your notebook or say the answer orally and record it. Consult your answers with your teacher. Your understanding of the three categories of expressions will help you to succeed in doing the next activity. Now, listen to the dialogue of three people talking about how technology, social media, and online spaces are tools for youth's learning and becoming. I'm proud of us, friends. I know, right? I think our report for the social science project made some strong points about social media and youth identity construction. Exactly! The best part of the report is the data from our interview with Dinda, the model. I couldn't believe how much Dinda adored Kaya Gerber and was so inspired by her. I see what you mean. 
The fact that Dinda is now a well-read girl proves how she follows in Kaya's footsteps. Kaya is a total bookworm. Hello, girls. Remember who told you that Dinda followed Kaya's Instagram? Me. So the credit goes to me. Hey, that's not right. Who came up with the idea of us doing some investigation on the issue? It was me. It's our work, guys. Cheers to our hard work. After listening to the audio, list down the expressions for stating opinions, agreeing, and disagreeing used by the speakers in the dialogue. Write them down or make a recording. Check your understanding by following the steps. First, watch your favorite episode of a talk show on YouTube. Then, identify the expressions of giving opinions, agreement, or disagreement used by the host and the guest. There are three categories of expressions you learn in this lesson. If you have limited access to the internet, consult with your teacher. She or he will give you alternative work to do. Students, do you know some public figures who utilize their social media for constructing their identities and shaping the world? Answer the following questions. Write your answers in your notebook or make a recording for answering them. Question number one. Do you have any idols or favorite public figures? If so, do you follow their social media? If you do, is there any of their statement or opinion posted on their social media that struck you the most? Question number two. What does her or his statement say? Question number three. What do you think of the statement? So, can you answer the questions? If yes, great! If no, don't worry! You can go back and repeat the lesson. This is the end of the listening lesson of Unit 1. I hope you enjoy it. Next, we will learn about how to use suitable expressions for stating opinions, agreeing, and disagreeing in a conversation. Catch you later! Produksi Pusat Perbukuan BSKAP Kemendik Butristek tahun 2023